I'm already knowing why you clicked on this video, man, because your defense is lacking just a little bit. Now, I'm not the greatest defender in the world, but I am going to be teaching these classes. Lockdown University is in section. Speaking of Lockdown University, man, y'all need to go on over to the Breeze Tea Store. Link will be down in the description and get yourself a Lockdown University tea. This is going to be $9.99 uh, later on today, man. I'm going to drop the price on that joint. Uh, get you a Lockdown University hoodie. Or get you one of these, uh, you know, long, long sleeve tees, man. Now, I, like I said, yet again, we will be dropping the prices on those. Those prices will be adjusted. Those are old 2018 prices when I didn't have the deals and stuff that I got now. But now I got better deals. So check with that first thing in the morning. The prices will be more to y'all like it. Now, back to what we're talking about, bro. This is Lockdown University. I'm going to be teaching these classes. Y'all let me know what y'all want to know about, uh, you know, later on. And as time goes on, we will add on and add on and add on. But we got to build with the basic building block. A lot of people don't know about this stuff that I'm about to tell y'all about. So if you already know, just leave, drop a like on the video. Put LDU down there in the comment section and make sure you like the video because every time you like the video, you're entered in a chance to win a 50, either $50 or a $50 uh, VC card. You know, if you're on uh, Xbox, PlayStation, whatever. We're trying to help y'all with the VC prices, give y'all a little VC relief, man. So make sure y'all like the video and you can comment LDU down below uh, at the end of your comment and then you'll be entered in it. And we're going to give it away Friday. We already gave Veloso91 his. He hit me up earlier today. I gave, I sent him his. So uh, Darius got his last week. Everybody, Bird, got his. And uh, like I said, if you don't got 2K, I'll just buy you a copy of 2K. That's, what, that's how we rocking this week. So make sure you like the video. And like I said, coming up this Friday, while we're going to be doing that. Now, on with the show. Like I said, this is Lockdown University. You got to start with the basic building blocks. A lot of people don't know this stuff that we're doing. So if you already know it, uh, you know, just, just bear with your boy, man. So right now, what we're going to start with is what I like to refer to as the defensive bubble. This, uh, we, you know, this is my first time doing this. So, so y'all got to rock with me, man. Anyway, the defensive bubble is what I'm about to show y'all right here. You see, as I approach Roaster, I got my boy UGK Roaster helping me right here, man. So as I approach him, you're gonna see, you're gonna see right here, let me freeze it real quick. I got all my stuff right here, bro. All right, bam. As I approach him, you're gonna see how, you're gonna see this up under his feet, right? Um, the, the, you see right here, y'all, oh yeah, y'all can see my cursor. So you see this right here up under his feet as, as I approach him. Uh, this right here shows that he's being guarded. So you see, one, two, three. It's showing me that I'm guarding him, and even though we got this amount of distance between us, this is considered me defending him. Right here, if he were to take a shot, and we're gonna show y'all that in a second, you're gonna see what, how, how much of a contest you got. But this is what I like to refer to as the defensive bubble. Once you are inside of this zone right here, and you see these pop up below his feet, then you know that he's being defended, and it's not a really good idea for him to take a shot. Now, like I said, we're just gonna let this play on out a little bit. And uh, like I said, I had Roaster just standing there just so we can show y'all exactly what's going on. Now in a second, you're gonna see me, I, I go intense D, I'm gonna put my hand up. Watch when he takes this shot. My guy, he has Hall of Fame, uh, I got Hall of Fame challenges on there, but I want y'all to just see, see what happened just there. Check this out. You see how far away from him I am? And all I'm doing is just playing regular hands up defense. I'm not jumping to anything. With Hall of Fame challenger, when he took that shot, my guy closed out on him and he almost fell. This is what Hall of Fame challenger does. Now, Roaster and I tested this out. We tested this out uh, earlier in the Gatorade facility. He doesn't have, he got 75 perimeter defense and he has no defensive badges. He just made this bill right. When he did the same thing to me, he was from the same distance and uh, he did the exact same thing. He got about a 12% uh, and on this one, I think I got a 45, I think I got a 42% or something like that. So uh, he got a little bit closer. He got a 19%, like, okay, he got a 19%, I got a 42%. He got a, um, one of them is said open and then I got like a 12%. So it really depends on what level you are and all of that good stuff. But uh, like I said, keep in mind, he has literally no badges and you see how far I am from him like that's that's a ridiculous amount of space and you would almost think that you could take this shot especially with me just playing you know regular hands up defense but like I said as soon as he takes the shot my guy closes out bam and uh yeah the heavy contest like I said he almost falls over 
and that right there shows you that that defensive bubble, you are being defended. Now, the next thing we want to show you this is this with intense D. So again, we're going to walk up on him and I want to show y'all here what I'm doing right here. I'm flicking the left stick. All I'm doing is flicking the left stick in the direction that I want to go. So right here, I flicked it to the left. I, I shaded him to the left, flicked it back to the right, shaded in the middle. I flicked it back to the uh, right, I mean to the left, shade him left. Now, what I want to show y'all is when you're shading somebody, you can shade them here, but when you shade them off of there, it, it doesn't work exactly the same. So that flicking will only move you one shade in the direction that you flick the stick if you do it. And of course, right here, we are right here. What I wanted to show you is I'm still getting used to the pad, man. So y'all got to rock with your boy, man. Right here, what we wanted to show you is, look, I'm shading him to the right, and I told him drive straight up the middle. Boom, he's gonna drive. He's gonna drive straight up the middle. Absolutely nothing happens. Now he's gonna come back down, and now I'm gonna shade him. And I told him to run straight into me or whatever, or try to run through me, and I'm shading him here. And you see, I get a riding animation. So when you're in that defensive bubble, if you are doing the right things and and you're in the right location, you will get these riding animations. Clamps this year is not really, and we're going to do a whole video on clamps, but clamps this year is not really as much about, it's not really this year as much about uh, stonewall animations as it is. I'm shading him a little to the left. He's trying to go straight ahead. Boom, we get a riding animation. That's that's what it really is, and then it keeps him from going where he wants to go. This next clip, I'm going to show you all what happens, and then we're going to go from there. So what I wanted him to do on this next clip, I wanted him to try to drive past me. So he's going to try to fool me and drive past me. Now, check this out. As you can see, he did get by me, but my guy recovered. We're going to run it back real quick. So he's driving. And like I said, Roaster is, is let me give you all a precursor. Roaster is 6'3 with 90 plus everything. You guys are going to be playing against a lot of 6'9s and 6'7s and stuff like that. Everything doesn't work on everybody, but at the same time, the basics, these are the very, very basics is what I'm trying to give you guys so that you can you can have the advantage over the next the next person that you got. So uh really right here with roaster driving, I'm already beat. So check this out. You see my guy? I'm stuck in mud. He's driving. I'm already beat. He's got a full head of steam. I know that he wants to go here to the rim. That's what he wants to do. Instead of trying to close out and shoot that ball hand or do whatever, what you have to do in a situation like this, if you're absolutely sure he's driving, that's not what you want to do. What you want to do, you got to beat him to the block. This is where you got to beat him to. You got to beat him here because he's going to try to drive. He can't go through here because obviously if you're trying to beat him here, you're going to intersect somewhere and he's not going to be able to get there. So really what you're going to see happen right here is See, he's gonna try to go. I'm going to the block. I didn't get a chance. Well, what I just said actually happened. He tried to turn the corner early. I'm already there. And then uh, you see him go up with the with the layup and it's a bad layup attempt. And I got enough interior. I don't know if you guys got interior. If you got enough interior, then you'll be able to do stuff like this. If the dude's 6'9", he might go by you. But uh, a lot of times, man, that doesn't happen to me. I either get in front of him. I would say I would really say if he's 6'9, he's probably not even gonna get by you because he's not gonna be fast enough. In this clip, I got him um I, I, I asked Rose just I said just mix it up and see if you can get by me or whatever like that. Right here, you see, I'm 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 riding him on the perimeter and I'm gonna show y'all exactly why I was able to do what I was doing. A lot of people in this game they like to use the step back, right? So right here you see me in the defensive bubble. Boom. He's gonna step back. 99% of the people that got this that's gonna do the step back, they are not gonna have a whole lot of ball handling, which means they can't cross it over. Roaster could cross it over. If he wanted to cross it over, he crossed his joint over every time he can go to the rim moment. I would, it would be nothing I can do. But because what you guys are gonna be going against a lot of times is gonna be is gonna be um six nines, six sevens, and, and just people that don't have a whole lot of moves. When you play somebody that's got a lot of moves, bruh, I'm gonna tell you straight up. Rely on your team and just do what you got to do. But when you're playing somebody that don't have a lot of skill, not saying Rosa don't got a lot of skill, but you know, we just use him as an example. When you're playing somebody that don't have a lot of skill, when you see them do that step back, you identify the ball hand and you shoot toward that ball hand instantly. What that will do is, if they decide to drive, now you're going to make them bow it all the way out. That's what you're going to do. In an ideal world, this is, this is what it would look like literally every time. You see him, you see him hit the step back. 
first thing I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm, I'm closing out toward the ball hand. You don't even have to close out all that uh, what was aggressively because as we said, you're already in the defensive bubble. You see this pops up. I don't have to go that far. If he steps back and shoots, he can't shoot the ball. So knowing that he's gonna drive because I told him to drive, then you know, I know I'm gonna get that riding animation. He's not gonna really be able to go by me. And he also told me that um, he don't have any more stamina. After, after I got minutes, I got Hall of Fame minutes, Hall of Fame clamps. He don't have much more stamina. So, you know, he tried to do a couple of things. He had to shoot the ball. And as you can see, he can't really shoot the ball because he was dog. He was dog ass tired. Next up, what we got in this clip right here. Uh, I'm telling him to go triple threat, triple threat. I'm trying to guess where he's going to go. So he's spinning out of this. He's spinning out of the triple threat, right? So now I know he's not going to go this way and if he did go that way i'm already in perfect position we already discussed that i know where he's gonna go so i i know he's gonna try to go here to the rim again what you gotta do is you gotta beat the guy to the block that's that's what the launch points are for here so i can i can either shoot here and try to beat him to the block or i can just go straight parallel and beat him to the block so what we're gonna do right here i'm just gonna go straight parallel as i said beat him to the block boom and he can't lay the ball up. Like I said, if you don't have a lot of interior defense, I got 84 interior, so I can do this stuff. But if you don't have a lot of interior, maybe you can just get a bump or something on him like that. But like I said, look, go straight across because we know we know where he wants to go. You beat him to the block, boom. Get a great contest, and there you go. Now, like I said, I already know that we on the we on the Mountain Dew court. A lot of it is not gonna be the most valid thing you can do, but these are the things that you'll be able to do against nearly anybody because let's just be honest. You, you're you gonna be out there, you're playing threes, you're gonna have somebody standing here, you're gonna have somebody standing here. These two dudes are not, are not stationary. They'll be able to cheat down in here and help you to where he can't, they, they can just take away all this space right here. This dude right here, Gambit, Gambit, and this is Brute right here, Brute. I can't write with this, I just got this thing today. Gambit is gonna take away all this space in here even up to here brute is going to take away all this space in here and he's going to take it away take it away up to here so you got this guy playing in a in pretty much he's playing inside of a box right now if you're playing if you're playing with uh good teammates you know that all i got to do is stay in front of him and the only place that he can possibly try to go is try to arc around me here so that means what i need to do for myself I know he can't come. I know he can't come here because we already established that my teammate is there. The only place he can go is here. So all I got to do is hold my ground. If he tries to board around me, we'll just intersect him here. And then, like we said, we'll just see see how it goes. More or less, I'm having to play like that. Now, he went that way. Brute would have stepped there, but he would have deterred it. But at the same time, I'm already there. He can't go up. But Roaster, in typical Roaster fashion, he gonna say, he just gonna say, he just gotta do exactly what he gotta do. Roaster can't, Roaster can't allow me to have a good video. This is what he said he gotta do. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make sure I get me a bucket right here on that. But like I said, bro, you're gonna have a lot of help out there if you're playing threes. You're playing twos, I don't, I, you might be on that island by yourself. But he tries to go to the rim, we beat him there, boom, he can't go up. But he scores on me anyway, because it's Roaster. Up next, the next clip we got, and we almost through, we almost about to let y'all get up out of here. That cheap ass corner move that people like to do. Check it out. Bam. This is what we got. I wanted him to show, I wanted him to do that, uh, show you the corner move or whatever, man. But the main thing I want to show y'all about the corner move is this. Everybody's gonna do it. They catch that ball in the corner. If they come out the corner, that's what they're gonna try to do. So this is what I want y'all to know about the corner move. You never the way the place that you want to play. When they're coming out of the corner, is uh, I think I think we were just we were just doing a little practicing right here, just trying to get set up. So boom, this is the move we wanted to kind of explain what the move is first, right? Bam, that's the little corner move that everybody's gonna do. Everybody's gonna do. And then Rosa stop stealing the ball from me, man. We try to do a video, bro. Anyway, so look, when you're doing the corner move, man, when you try to defend the corner move, you don't want to be here. This is not where you want to be. If you're here. If you are here, he is 1,000% gonna bow that around you and go to the rim. It's not gonna be anything that you can do, right? Bam. Come here. You don't want to be here because if you if you're here, he can shoot the baseline. 
and he's gone. So you definitely don't want to do that because you know he, he might you might get some people that's gonna try to board around you, and you might get lucky. But uh, nah, you don't want to do that either. Where you really are gonna want to be, you're gonna want to be more not there. I'm trying to get into the perfect position so I can show. This is pretty much where you want to be, right here, standing here. There's not a lot that he's gonna be able to do. If he tries to if he tries to board around you or whatever, it's not gonna work out for him because he's gonna end up running into you, um, and the clamps gonna kick in. He tried to go this way, he's gonna go out of bounds. So right here, he tried to go out of bounds. He, he literally went straight out of bounds. Couldn't even do nothing. And on his Mountain Dew court, it don't really do nothing to you when you go out of bounds. Last but not least, I think this is the last clip that we got out of the triple threat. This is just another one that I wanted to show y'all where where you get him in the defensive bubble. Like I said, the main thing you want to do, make sure you got him in the defensive bubble. Now, again, if you are playing threes, you're going to have a guy here. You're going to have a guy here. His, his, what he's going to be able to do is going to be, be killed significantly because you're going to have a defender here, and then they should be helping you up here, and then they're going to be here. Uh, Gambit, Gambit will come all the way over here, so that don't even matter. And then, you know, you're going to have help up there. So really, the only thing that you're responsible for is from, you're really responsible for this little triangle right here. From here to here, and from here to here. That's what you're really responsible for. Your corners, your corners should be helping you. Uh, this this corner, like we said, he should be able to, he should be able to help you all the way, all the way down here. And then this corner should be helping you also. So this is really all you're responsible for. So you know, with that and keeping that in mind, I told him to you know, just do a little basic move. This, and this is another one. All you want to do, you got, him in, you got him in your little defensive bubble, bam. When he drives, you're going to want to, you don't, don't try to attack him too much. Just the only thing I wanted to do, really what I'm trying to do, I'm really just going to try to beat him here. Because now that I know he's committed, we're going to try to beat him to death. If we can't, then you know we can. Boom. He spins. We, we contest. And you get that. If you don't have high interior, like I said, that's not really good. And why is you reaching, Roaster? If you don't got high interior, it probably won't work for you. And then yet again, you know, we just, we're just showing some stuff on like, like uh, we was we were trying to do like a simulated game. Like I was like pretend somebody's in the corner and uh, drive or whatever. And so same thing from the wing. You're gonna have you're gonna have help here. You're gonna have help here. Uh, and again, the only thing that you're really responsible for, you're responsible from here to here, back to here. Your teammates should be able to take away a good portion of this and up to here, and they should be able to take a good portion of that all the way up to there. So when he's driving, the only thing that I have to really do is I have to identify whether he's gonna shoot or if, if he drives. If he steps back, I'm gonna shoot ball hand and close out just a little bit, but I'm still in the zone so he can't do it. But really, the only thing I have to do, identify is if he's gonna go here or if he's gonna go, go here. So the only thing I need to be able to beat him to is either the block or the free throw line. Right here, he decided to go, he decided to go block. I dropped back get a good contest boom and he missed a shot so really that's all we got for y'all today man i really just wanted to start y'all off with the basics and the basics being what we call the defensive bubble this is the defensive bubble right here we're gonna show it to you again um if it if it comes on through boom in this bubble you can defend the guy he can't take the shot whether it's red or not if it shows up at all if you've got challenger or if you don't have challenger if you put your hand up he cannot take the shot. You will get some type of contest. And like I said, you're going to see it again here. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helped out. If y'all want to see more types of video like this, I got to get them more refined. I'm not really that good at it right now. But like I said, he's going to take the shot and you'll see it. But I'm going to get more refined and we're going to get these better. And we're going to do these in, in like a stage type situations and all this stuff, showing y'all how to do it. But like I said, you got to get the basics down first. This is the very bare minimum basic man let me know if y'all like this type of video and i'm hot at y'all next time man till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's channel Guys,